Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I just want to address one of the most popular questions I've been asked regarding startups and big companies. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing everything from an employee's perspective. So it's not really the perspective if you're trying to start your own company, for example. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over my three most important differences between the two. Let's do it. Okay, so compensation, and we gotta talk about this, and I'm just gonna talk about it first. So the thing that you have to realize is that the cold, hard cash that you take home is always gonna be greater at a big company. We have to just accept this for now. Actually, just accept it. When you're at a well-funded startup, you'll definitely get a good, probably market rate salary, but the thing that you have to consider with a large corporate company is that they have a lot of other forms of compensation. There's stock purchasing plans, there's retirement matching, there's maybe more bonuses. So when you add all this stuff up together, the hard cash that you get is just larger at a big company. One of the major parts of your total compensation package when you're considering working at a startup is equity. And I'm sure you all know this concept, but it's pretty much you owning a little piece of the company. The most important thing I would consider when regarding equity is that you cannot consider it as cold hard cash. You can do all the math, what if this startup gets bought for $2 billion, I'll have so much money, but actually never do that kind of math. It'll probably make you overthink things and when you get your equity, it's more of a goodwill for you to do a good job, but do not consider it as cash, all right? Last point I wanna make here regarding compensation is that you have to consider this along with your personal life. And that's really, 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 really important. If you have a lot of responsibilities in your life, you might have a family, you have medical expenses, you gotta help out your parents, then you probably need cold hard cash today. And a startup might not be the best choice for you. This first difference in compensation has to always be considered really, really, really closely with your personal life as well, okay? So that's the last point I wanted to make about that. All right, point number two that I wanna make is the difference in choice that you have. The major point I want to make here is that you really have a choice of what you wanna work on and who you wanna work with if you choose a startup. Of course, big companies are very different. Some might be more flexible than others, but since they're so big, more often than not, that just choosing whatever you wanna work on or choosing the people that you wanna work with, it's pretty difficult. So are you really interested in healthcare? Well, you can find a perfect startup that's doing healthcare in exactly the area you care about. Do you like working with fratty guys that drink a lot of beer all day? Well, then you could find a healthcare startup filled with fratty guys that go to happy hour every day. You just don't have choices like that at a big company. For me personally, I think having the choice of the people I work with is probably the biggest benefit and luxury and this is something I just value a lot. Eventually though, as a company grows, naturally the people increase. and You can never really get along with 100% of the people you work with. It's just impossible. Okay, so the last third and final point I wanna make is regarding responsibility and condensed experience. So at a startup, it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna take on more responsibility. Since there's fewer people, naturally it means that more is riding on you. So maybe you're at a big company and you're coding away all day, but maybe your code never sees the light of day because the products just get thrown out. Well, if you want to join an environment where your code doesn't get thrown out, you don't feel like a little cog in the big machine, then a startup might be for you. On the other hand, if you just wanna chill out, relax, you don't really want too much responsibilities and you just wanna collect that paycheck, then a big company is probably for you. So inherently, with this increased level of responsibility at a startup, it naturally leads to you getting more experience in a shorter amount of time. This is another cool part of startups, which is the career experience aspect, but sometimes things that might take 10 years at a big company, you could maybe get that same level of experience at maybe one or two years at a startup. Since your responsibilities inherently go up, it just means you do more things. 
you manage more people, you do more planning, you write more code. You just do more things and you experience a lot more. All right guys, so those were three major differences and one of the most important points that I thought of when comparing startups to big companies, whether you're considering to work for either or, or maybe you're at a big company and you just wanna make the switch. Um, there's obviously a lot more differences out there that you can do your own research on, but these are just my top three. And with any decision you make with your career, just do as much, much, much research as possible because this stuff is, you know, it's affecting your life. So it's really important. So I hope these points helped you and hopefully you can make an informed decision if you're thinking about this. And as always, just do what you really wanna do, all right? So see you next time.